I gotta hear that rise cymbal and some eighth notes. That's what I believe in. Why was it old soul? There's big band Roy, trio Roy, funk Roy, dissident fusion Roy. There's hip hop Roy. My wife said, why don't you invite him to do Carnegie Hall? And of course he was a sensation. like the spring of 1976. And this trumpet player could have been about what, eight, nine years old. I was really playing. He was going to be the next dude. And he was a bullion, effusive. If you can sing it, pretty much you can play it. You should be able to anyway. I had no idea how amazing he was. And that's when I knew that Roy Hargrove was not mere mortal. Okay, I'll put it this way. This profession is about exploitation. Nobody left Roy's band because of Roy. You shouldn't have a reality show. He's going to be blocking Cross. me trying to do my project. No, he can't, he can't block shit. There's so many dirty tricks to get played with creative people. I know what I think I saw. I started getting this pain in my back, and I was screaming. It was a mess. We didn't know what to think. He was in and out of the hospital. I was just trying to do the gig. You ignore shit, and then it comes back on you. Everyone uh, has some way of escaping. I just keep telling him, I just be like, man, put that shit in the pocket. He was one of the greatest jazz educators this music ever saw. And he has his younger musicians that are disciples and love his playing and are influenced by it, who are gonna be the face of the music for years to come. 